Welcome to our fourth lesson. Here, we're going to look at how to add text boxes, how to resize them, and how to move them around. So here is slide two, which you've done before, and you have changed all the text. And I want to add a new slide. And you know you must go up here to the plus button. It says new slide when you hover above it and click the plus is slide three. Now, by default, slides come with two space areas, one that says click to add title and one that says click to add text. But let's assume that we have used both of them. So I'm going to delete them. Order the pages blank and I want to add my own text box so I can type wherever I want on the page. In order to do that, you go to your menu up here and you look for this icon with a T and that box around it. And also when you hover above it, it says text box and you click on it. Another way is to go to insert. When you click on insert, you also have the text box tool up here and you click on it. Now, apparently nothing happens, but you see I've got this different type of marker. So if I'm going to click and drag now, it's going to draw a text box and then I can type in it. And in here, I want you to tell me in just a couple of lines about your favorite animal. So I'm going to type here is my favorite animal is the dolphin. I went to see the dolphin show in Tel Aviv when I was a young boy and ever since I've, I've been fascinated by this amazing animal. Okay, and I can already see there's this little uh, wiggly red line under the word fascinated. I spelled it incorrectly or maybe I mistyped and I can right click on it and choose the right spelling. If you're not using a mouse, then it depends on your computer. You either right click on your key on your touchpad or if it's a Chromebook by any chance, you click with both fingers and then you click once on the correct spelling. And you can see this is very small text. It's only 14. And maybe that's all I'm going to have on this page. So I'm going to select the text. Again, you either drag your mouse over it or you let's click outside for a second. So you'll see, or you click at the beginning. You see the cursor going on and off there. You hold down the shift button and you can move with the arrows. I can just move down along those lines and I can now change the size and I can change the font. However, when you have running font, like a long uh, running text, a long text that so people meant to write, keep it with a nice, easy to read font. Arial is an excellent one. That's why it's used so often. And I can keep it black or I can make it a slightly more watery related color. Let's say a very dark blue. So it's easy to read against the white. Okay. But you can see that the box doesn't fit the text. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab one of those little handles and you know you're on it because you're gonna get that four dire the two direction arrow and I can drag it to make it bigger so the text fits. Now, if I want a narrow kind of going down text, I can make it thinner and then just drag it from the bottom. But it's quite important that it fits the size of the your text fits, fits inside the box. So here's my text about dolphin. I'm going to bring it back to this way because it's easier to read. Minimize it from here and click outside. Now I want to add another text box for my heading. So I'm going to repeat the process. I'm going to click on the text box tool. I'm going to come back to my document and click 
and drag. You don't have to drag, but this way you can define the size that you're going to work in. And I'm going to type here the word dolphins. Remember, capital letter, capital letter, the beginning of sentence or proper noun. I'm going to highlight it. And because it's a heading, I can make it much bigger. I can choose a funky font. Like, like this Baluda. And I can change the color. And here I want it to be in the center of the page. So it will look like a heading. And there's a tool I haven't showed you. And it's hiding underneath those three dots. The more. Whenever you see those three dots, you know there's more underneath it. I'm clicking on it and I'm looking for this tool, which is a text align. And when I click on it, you can see that I can align the text to the left, to the center, to the right, or justify, which means that it spreads it over the box. I am going to align it to the center. And there we go. I've got a nice heading with a color and a nice easily read text with a nice font. And that's my little paragraph. Go ahead and create your own page and write about your favorite animal. Just a couple of sentences.